Well, Bart, on the other side of the coin, though, you got to give Bruguera having a lot of... you got to give him credit for having so many chances to break. There's not too many people that have 25 chances to break Jim Currier's serve. Kansas. All he needs, maybe, is one more, and he can say, well, I made six out of 60, but I won the match. He's got Curry missing. He's got the French crowd behind him as well, which is a big plus for him. The crowd is going to pump him up and get him through this match, and maybe he'll be able to get by in adrenaline only. Crowds are fickle. They loved him for his speech in French last year. But as Billie Jean King says, well, you win a couple times, the crowd wants to see somebody else in there. Wait, wait. S'il vous plaît, please. Uh, Bruno Rebu holds up Bruguera, who just someone yelled just as the ball went into the air. Boy, and Bruguera oh, is tough. Courier's not thinking about winning three straight or 21 straight matches. He's just trying to stay alive against this guy now. What a turn of events. He had a winning lead with a point for 3-1, but that was moments ago. That's the deep cast as far as this match is going. A sneak volley that doesn't work. Sergi Bruguera regains the lead there on serve. 3-2. Is your neighborhood hazardous to your health? No matter where you live, pollution may threaten your life. Who's most at risk? The answer on America Close Up, NBC Nightly News, Monday. If man can weave a basket that'll hold enough fried chicken, baked beans, and potato salad for 3,000 picnickers, it's little wonder that Publix has figured out a way to offer you low prices. The same great quality, surprisingly low prices at Publix. If a high school sophomore can build a 68-story house of cards using 15,000 diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades, it's little wonder that Publix has figured out a way to offer you low prices. Same great quality, surprisingly low prices at Publix. Here in the outback, we know what's important in life. Food. You don't mind, do you? No, no, mate. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. If you feel the same way, get to Outback Steakhouse. I got a bloomin' good recipe for onions. Sunday, Sports Extra, right after 2 News at 11. Back at Rolling Garros with Jose Higueras, Jim Currier's coach. If you could tell him one thing, Jose, right now, what would it be? He's got to keep being focused and get his team moving. He played a very passive game at uh, two, uh, a two live in the fifth, and uh, seems like he's a little more passive now. I think he's got to keep moving his feet and, and going for his shot when he has them. All right, let's go back up to Bud. Jose Garris puts his finger right on it. A passive game. The third game when Courier looked as though he was going to go win it driving. It looked as though he could take that three love and just keep moving. Now, this is the biggest game of his life in the French. But it's like Jose said, he played a passive game and he made some unforced errors at two love where he really could have put a stranglehold on this match. Now down two, three. He must outside. hold here. Boom! Oh. Got the button, where things are going, I'm not sure if he must hold. <laughs> right. Crazy match. But it'd be, it'd be to his advantage. I, I think it would be to his advantage. Take his time now. Two, three, 15 love. They can go no further than a fifth. Whoa, the wild forehand again. That is a very difficult Can't shot down. to handle, that low slice return that Bruguera seems to have perfected in the last year. 32 unforced forehand errors. 
It's a short ball. It's tough to know whether to come in or stay back on that. And Jim is a little bit confused about what to do. It was a tough shot to handle. Service winner. Great stab there for Bugera to get him into this point. Look at this big first serve right up the middle. Bugera just barely gets it back. Too short though this time. Easy put away for Jim. 30 15. Down the booby trapped path of the fifth set. now but he knows he was up too low had a chance of hold for 3-1 in the fifth set played another fairly loose game at two all now he finds himself at 30 all at 3-2 2-3 three, two. Two, three, three. excuse me mm. This is what you'd expect from Jim Curry in her fifth set. Huge opportunity for Sergi Bouguera. Seems to have gotten his third or fourth win now. Four of 25, but he'd settle for five of 26. He'd be happy with five of 26 if he wins this match. You don't care how many breakpoint opportunities he's blown. French Open is brought to you by John Nuveen and Company, quality tax-free investment since 1898. By Coca-Cola Classic, always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. And by Canon, Canon cameras, so advanced, they're simple. Can this young man came up? He now has a winning lead, a championship lead. Sergi Bruguera, four games to two in the fifth set. Courier had 30-15 in that game. Couldn't hang on to it. He can taste it, bud. The proposition, hold serve twice, and you are the champion. Following such Spaniards as Manola Santana and Andre Semeno, Jim Courier, is it slipping away from him? Played a passive third game, according to his coach, Jose Higueras, when he might have gone up three love. It's over, bud. A monumental effort to take this title away from Courier. Big forehand cross court on, off the return. Solid forehand up the line, forcing Bruguer to run all over the court. Just misses that slice backhand. Tenth seeded Bruguer. Certainly is. He would not be the lowest seed to win as his coaches, Courier's coaches look gloomier, if that's possible. Matt Spilander in 1982 was unseeded. 17 years old, I believe. Yeah. Decide what to do with it. 
You're right, but here he looked a little indecisive off this shot. He could tell fairly early on Bouguer was going to hit that drop shot. Pumpkin. Didn't do enough with it, and Bouguer hit that fine angle volley once again. Bouguer is volleying better than anyone expected him to. 30-15. It's the match of his young life. But that's just beautiful preparation on a huge point. He is hitting that backhand down the line so well today. Look at this. He's won 16 in the last 20 points. Introducing the new Subaru Impreza, four-channel anti-lock brakes. So what's so great about four channels? Well, look at it this way. The Honda Civic's only got three. Now just stop and think about that for a minute. The new Subaru Impreza. It's not just another new car. When life turns up the heat... Will they start the wedding without me? This shouldn't take long, honey. Nothing protects you like Degree Antiperspirant. It's body heat activated. Will it be soon, Daddy? Soon, sweetie. Every time your body heat rises, Degree releases extra protection to keep you fresher, drier. Can your antiperspirant take the heat? You made it. <laughs> Degree can. Your body heat turns it on. Your word, man. My husband, Elliot, he's an inventor. He's made a very good life for both of us. Last year, this big company paid a lot of money for one of his ideas. Elliot even thought about opening his own company. But in the end, we decided to invest the money. Besides, I'm not sure Elliot's cut out to work in an office anyway. Ask your financial advisor about Nuveen tax-free investments. Or simply call this number. Luis Bruguera, the father, the coach. They've had stormy sessions on the court, but very close. And it's been them against the rest of Barcelona because there's a split in the tennis community. And wouldn't it be something if Bruguera won this? He needs only one game. Certainly know who the proudest father in the stadium is at this time. An amazing effort by Sergio yeah, yeah. Baguera to get himself in a position to win his first French Open title. He's three points away. He was broken immediately as the fifth set began, and everybody said, uh-huh, well, Curry is the champ. He's won 20 straight here. He went up to two love and hasn't won a game since. And now Bruguera, three points. He's proven a lot of people wrong, including myself. And me. We should add, it's not quite over yet. Courier's got 13 straight Grand Slam wins. 20 straight French Open wins. The record 28 by Borg. Amazing. and tries to surprise Bouguera. Just took his eye off that ball at the last second. About a step behind where he should have been, and now two points from ceding his title to the Spaniard. Total miss 
nice hit there by Baduguera. He had a real chance to at least get that back into play, make Jim hit another volley. Ruggiero still two points from the title. Jim Curry, what a get here by Bergara. Guesses right Down again, the just throws up too short a lob. Sergi Bruguera attacked viciously in the Spanish press for losing two Davis Cup matches this year as the Netherlands upset Spain. Attacked last August for losing in the first round of the Olympics because he had an injury he'd incurred playing soccer. They may change their Twice two points from defeat, Courier. He must break serve here. For Bruguera ascends his throne. Sergi Bruguera, 22, 6 feet 2. First time, his debut in a major final. He shows the new balls, which he will serve for the championship his father, Luis Bruguera, raised him to win. Because in Europe, this is the championship. They the U.S. Open, Wimbledon. No, the French to Europeans. This is the ultimate. <laughs> on it and you know he's feeling the pressure so the ball has a tendency to fly a little bit and that was an example right there a little bit of a miss hit cost him the first point <laughs> asking for <laughs> silence he may get it probably not <laughs> Unfortunate leg court for Bagheera to go down love 30. Look at his reaction after he misses this shot. Courier purging himself of errors so far in this game. Playing with power, patience, and safety. to stay into this match. Running all over the court. A great cross-court forehand by Bruguera. Went for a little bit too much there on that stroke, bud. He'd like to have that one back, but he was gunning for it. It's 15-30. Bruguera, twice before, has been two points from the match. Now he's three points. Glad to hear the linesman's call there. Oh. Oh. 
out. And a good return of the second ball on the baseline. Two break points for Courier. Great return there by Jim Courier. Almost a half volley, that return. Kansas County. Forced Bouguer to half volley that stroke. Hit the top of the tape. Courier looking for his fifth break of the match. Bouguer broken only break. five times the whole tournament coming into this match. Wait, wait, wait. Who's the umpire trying to settle the crowd? A guy in a championship game. Two break points. And that is service. service winner! What a time to hit a first serve like that. Championship game for Sergi Bruguera. Number 11 player in the world. this forehand hit a couple of great strokes very very deep just went it once again for just a little bit too much do so try to make Bruguera win that on a passing shot look at Sergi's reaction 36th unforced air on the forehand now for the third time Bruguera two points from the championship from his father's wish. Still be played his own wish, too. <laughs> I guess. first service you can hit under this, these circumstances. Curry almost half, half uh, volleyed that return. It was incredible. Two huge forehands. And match point vanishes. serves under pressure, bud. The crowd is really fired up right now. Four hours of about the best play court tennis you're going to see.
upsets in the history of the game. Tenth seeded. 22 years old. Never been in a major final against a man who had won two in a row. Jim Currier, the number two player in the world. He was out of the point. Three, six, six, three. And that brought up father. Now it's time for a unique glimpse of Paris. Brought to you by Coca-Cola Classic. Always Paris, always Coca-Cola. French bread. Those two words go together like Boston and beans. The French call it the baguette. Food for the 90s, but prepared in the traditional way. Kneaded, baked in a wood-burning oven into a wicker basket for delivery to the customer the very same morning. Crunchy. Marie Antoinette said let them eat cake, but the French knew better. They eat their wonderful bread. Chicago Bulls, the Phoenix Suns, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, the greatest player in the game, the league's MVP. Two superstars power two super teams with a world championship at stake. Who holds the winning ticket in the NBA Finals? Game one in primetime, Wednesday at 9 Eastern on NBC. It's Stad Roland Garros. The 65-year-old ballpark has not seen many more exciting than that. Jim Currier saving a match point as he sought to hang on to his title, but Sergi Bruguera was destined for it. And we will hear from him. Manolo Santana on the left. So all this coming up, the presentation, Dan Hicks interviews. The men's doubles final and an interview with Andre Agassi. Will he be at Wimbledon? I have to think that when someone watches me play tennis, they say, well, here's a, a real intense, possibly angry young man. Tense, but once I get away, then I, I open up a little bit more. Introducing the exciting new Subaru Impreza Sport Wagon. All 110 cubic feet of it. That's like the size of four sleeping bags, luggage, a 20 pound sack of potatoes, three bags of groceries, a portable barbecue, and a family of four. Hey, everybody needs their own space. The new roomy Impreza Sport Wagon from Subaru. It's not just another new car. 
No matter how tough you think you are, one opponent can bring you to tears. Sunscreen in your eyes. Fortunately, there's Coppertone Sport. Ultra sweat proof. Won't run in your eyes to sting you. Protects all day. Coppertone Sport. For those who don't take the sun lying down. Does your full commission broker have you trapped in fees? Fees for trading, fees for not trading, even exit fees when you close your account. There is a better way. Charles Schwab has accounts with no annual fees and a wide variety of mutual funds with no loads. And for a limited time, this unique offer. We'll rebate your exit fees when you move your account to Schwab. If you feel trapped in fees, maybe it's time to come to Schwab. That's the Musketeer, Coupe de Musketeer. And one of them you will see. It's held up by Sergi Bruguera. Viva España! The man who is pilloried for playing so poorly in his hometown, the Olympics, is the champion. And in the center, Jean Barotra, who won this title in 1931, one of the Musketeer. He will be 94 in August. Guy Forget on the left, one of the Davis Cup heroes of 91. A wonderful champion, Jim Courier. Two straight years, 20 straight matches. The king is dead and long live this one. Now, Gail Gardner is going to interview Andre Agassi when we return to Paris. The 1993 French Open is brought to you by the new Impreza, Subaru, What to Drive, by Charles Schwab and Company, helping investors help themselves, and by Coppertone Sports Sunblock, provides all-day UVA and UVB protection. So Jim Courier, in losing his title, committed 68 unforced errors. And Bruguera, the conqueror, helped up by the conquered. And Dan Hicks is ready with Jim Courier. Well, Jim, first of all, congratulations on an outstanding five-set match with Sergi Bruguera. This guy could play some tennis. Yeah, well, uh, there's no question this is his best surface. And, and uh, you know, he, he played... Uh, hey, fais attention, c'est le, le télé. Allô. But, um, you know, he played, uh, I think, uh, better than he's ever played against me, for sure. And, uh, you know, I could have played a little better. But this whole tournament, I have been playing my best. But I've been uh, been making it through. And today, you know, I was thought I was going to make it through, but I just didn't quite get there in the end. But that's okay. Up 2-11 the fifth and yeah. then lost control of the set. Yeah. What happened there? Well, you know, I... Uh, it's 2-1 up, and I thought he was hanging his head. I thought he was really tired, and, and uh, you know, I, I played a bit of a sloppy game at 2-1, and, and, you know, uh, uh, I, we got back on serve, and, and uh, I don't know, he seemed to, to get his second win there, and, and uh, you know, I just couldn't, couldn't quite seem to get my serve going the whole match, and that really hurt me in the end. There was so much talk about the historic significance of the three-peat, Jim. Yeah. There was a lot of pressure on you for the past couple of weeks. Did you feel any of that in the match well, today? I don't. I don't. I didn't really feel any pressure. You know, every year I come back and and I play here, and uh, you know I just try and do the best I can, and and uh, you know that that's all I can do. I go out here and I, you know, I'm proud of myself. I, I came out and competed, and and uh, you know I'm not doing too bad from a little boy from Dade City. I don't think so. There's no three people. Congratulations on an outstanding well, match, the Jim Courier. Get it. <laughs> the Penguins couldn't, uh, so maybe the Bulls can do it. Maybe they'll get the three P. Thanks a lot, Jim. Okay. Let's go back up to Bud Collins. Thank you, Dan Hicks. Sergio Bruguera is in the trainer's room at the moment. He is dehydrated badly. We hope to have him, but we're going to have a look at the rollicking men's doubles final and also with Chris Everett to review the women's championship.